We're not in Regis's studio anymore, Toto. Welcome to No Filter, everyone. I don't know if you've heard this story about Josh Shaw. He's a cornerback at USC. He's got uh, double high ankle sprains. And to explain how that happened, he said that he was at a family function on Saturday and he was on the second floor balcony when he saw his nephew struggling in the pool. And the nephew doesn't know how to swim, so he jumped off of the balcony like a superhero um, and then went into the pool and saved uh, his nephew. I'm just picturing him jumping off a balcony, like landing evenly on both ankles so that they both get equally sprained, being like, I'm going to save this kid. Now, a lot of people don't believe this story for whatever reason, but I do, and I'll tell you why, because I actually just had something even crazier happen to me. I haven't done no filter in a while, and I think it's time I explain to you guys where I've been. So I was leaving the Trenton Thunder game, where you might have seen, I threw out the first pitch. It was pretty great. If you haven't seen it, we'll put a link. Check that out. So I'm driving back from that, right? And my phone is blowing up. Like Ryan Gosling will not stop texting me, being like, you look so great. Like, I totally would have swung at that. So then I look up, and I see there's a bus full of underprivileged inner city youths just dangling off of a cliff. Like, it's about to just go over the cliff. And also, as I notice it, it's on fire. So I jump out of the car and I'm like, I'm gonna do this. And I run over and I just breathe in really, really deep and I go, and the flames, gone. It was amazing. So then I see all these kids and I grab them all one by one and I run them off the bus and just as I jump off with the last kid, the bus woo, goes over the cliff, big explosion. So then we're all standing there on this cliff and I realize the bus driver is pregnant and she's going into labor. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to deliver this baby. Come to find out, it's two babies. It's not one, she's pregnant with twins. She's pregnant with conjoined twins. So I'm like, I don't have the tools for this. But I made it work. I had uh, a, a jack in my trunk and I had jumper cables and that's all you need. Pro tip, that's all you need. So I delivered the babies and then I saw um, a, a baby bald eagle who was struggling, he was stuck, his wing was stuck. It was a rock and a wing, and so I released him, and he flew away and went and got a bunch of doves, and the doves came back and lifted us all and carried them back to safety to the school in the inner city. So then I got in my car. I drive to the airport, obviously, because I need to catch a flight because I'm going to be one of Beyonce's backup dancers at the VMAs, I'm sure you guys saw. So I go to the airport, and I get on the plane, and first I give up my first class seat to a soldier because that's just what you do. Um, and so then we're sitting there in coach. I'm sitting in coach, okay? And um, things start to get really shaky. And someone comes back and they're like, does anyone know how to fly a plane? And nobody raised their hand. And I was like, I think I got it because I've played video games. And I used to play the flight simulator on like Windows 98. I think I got it. So like I, I got up and I go into the cockpit <laughs> and there's the guy's just passed out. Like he's not awake. So I have to fly the plane. I had to make an emergency landing in, in Minneapolis. Um, and then had to get another flight. Everybody was like, oh yay, thanks, amazing, you're so great. And I was like, I know, thank you so much. And so then I caught another flight to LA and then I did the VMAs. And then for a couple days I couldn't get the sparkles off my body from being one of Beyonce's glittery booties. So I obviously couldn't film anything during that time. And then, craziest part of the story, I had to do this like fantasy football show with like David Spade and Nick Swardson and Turtle from Entourage. It was so weird. Um, and then I did that and then I flew the plane back because they just let me have it. Because once you like land a plane and you save the world, like they just give you the plane, which is pretty cool. So I flew it back here and now here we are. It was a crazy week, but we're back. No filter is back.